Okay, today we're going to talk about two-step equations. We've already talked about one-step equations and how we undo the constant term first and then another way to solve one-step equations is to undo the coefficient. I got a little ahead of myself there. <laughs> the first step is to undo the constant term when we have a two-step equation. And when we undo a constant, if you'll remember from our one-step equation notes, that's when we add or subtract both sides by the constant. And the second step is to undo the coefficient. And when we undo the coefficient, we undo that using multiplication or division. So let's jump right in. So we know our first step is always really um, to find that variable and ask ourselves what's happening to it. In this case, x is being multiplied by 2 and added to 5, so I need to get rid of the 2 and the 5, and I'm going to do that by doing the opposite operation. So I'm going to be subtracting 5 and dividing by 2, and the order does matter. So I want to undo the constant first. The opposite of adding 5 is subtracting 5. That's going to give me 2x equals negative 22. The next step is to undo the coefficient. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So I get x equals negative 11. Remember what we talked about with one-step equations, that you can check your work. 2 times negative 11 is, in fact, negative 22. So I'm positive I got this one right because my answer makes the equation true. Let's try the next one. Um, we're going to look for that x, or whatever the variable is, and it's being divided by 3 and subtracted by 4. So I know I need to do the opposite operation, which would be adding 4 and multiplying by 3. And it doesn't matter what order I go in, I always want to undo that constant term first. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So now, since x is being... I'm going to use a different color. Since x is being divided by 3, the opposite is to multiply both sides by 3. Here it cancels, and I get x is 15. That's my answer. And I can check it, easily check it to see if my answer is correct by taking that 15 and putting it back in for x in the original problem. I'm going to get 15 divided by 3 is 5, and guess what? 5 minus 4 is 1, so I got it right. And here's our last example. It has decimals, but you still do it the same way. We're going to find our variable. It's being multiplied by negative 6.2 and added to 1.4. The opposite of adding 1.4 is to subtract 1.4 from both sides, undoing my constant term first and saving that coefficient for my second step. That cancels. This is going to be a 12.4. And then since x is being multiplied by negative 6.2, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6.2. Over here it cancels to give me 1. 6.2 times 2 is 12.4, but a positive divided by a negative is a negative, so my answer is going to be negative 2. I can check my work to make sure it's right. Negative 6.2 times negative 2 plus 14. Is it going to be 13.8? Let's find out. This is going to be a positive 12.2. I think that's a 1.4, isn't it? <laughs> I just can't see it because I crossed it out above. So it's a positive 12.2 because we have a negative times a negative, which is always positive, and then 12.2 plus 1.4 is, in fact... What did I do wrong? Oh, I know what I did wrong. See, this is why we check. We're going to get 12.4 there. Now it's 13.8. So yes, it worked. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.